Duke Luca Abel tore down the original palace in Karnaka, his birthplace, in order to build a lavish structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. It's said to be a sprawling estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego and sense of princely entitlement. But whatever the Duke has done to his nation happened while I was Empress. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back. I'm your host, Sinistrano One. First off, I just want to say I know a lot of people are saying, hey, you can go back and save. Um, can feel it. Still, this, this is, is my last night. Soon, I'll dissolve into the great nothing. nothing. You should be at peace and stay too long. Find Elias' spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. But, remember I have another... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have another uh, walkthrough going on with Corvo. So, I will do that for Corvo. But, I do want to see the differences of not uh, saving him. We didn't do anything wrong here. It's not like we've screwed something up, but I guess you're able to save him maybe by knocking him out so he can't go to the meeting, uh, would be my guess, but unfortunately, if you look, the the save states in this game are just, they're all manual, like, there is no restarting, you know, uh, missions or whatever, so if you go into here and then you go to load game, as you can see, here's our load saves, right? And then you see, like, um, This here, this is like a hard save that I did, but I tried to go back and actually see if I could save him, but the deed is already done and I can't, um, I, I can't do it. So if I were to go all the way back, which I have a save that's all the way back here, which is before I even grab the code to get into the mansion, well then we'd have to do the whole mansion over again. And I personally do not want to do the whole mansion over again, uh, especially since we have another Corvo that we can actually attain to and, and, and we can do it that way. So this way gives you a chance to see maybe if there is something different. Maybe this is going to be more challenging for me. Maybe having uh, having him uh, be insane means that he won't be able to help us out in any way. So maybe it's going to be more challenging and I for one am all for the challenge. Again, don't forget we have another Corvo walkthrough that as soon as this I've decided that as soon as this Emily's is done we're going to be going back over that and then completing that. So, of course, I will make sure that I do it then, uh, knowing the lessons that I've learned. But remember, when going through the level for the first time, I have no idea what I can and what I can't do. Um, and then once you've already passed a certain point, if you did not do a manual save, you're kind of screwed. You can't go back. That's why you always want to do a manual save at the beginning of every, every mission that you do, which, <laughs> again, I forgot to do on that one. So, um, my bad. But let's keep going. We didn't do anything wrong by not doing it, so... aristocratic boss living in a palace and sucking the marrow out of the same people who built it. Well, that's different. They actually opened it up this time. So we're doing our normal due diligence, <coughs> excuse me, and looking around. See if it says anything about Stilton. <laughs> Nothing. You could always count on the backing of Dunwall's I hope finest. the vice overseer will bring order to Karnaka. <laughs> I hope Paolo can bring some kind of justice to Karnaka. has been a fine motivator for many a ruler. Duke Bell uses a body double. Duke Bell spared no expense on his new palace. It's tacky if you ask me. Well, you know what that means. We're, this might be actually really challenging if he uses a body double. It might change a lot of whoa. Say we didn't have access to that before, did we? Oh, 
All right, so clearly there's not really much to do here. Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile, and I've got a lot to think about after all this is done. I hope I've been of some help to you. It's good to feel useful. Here, near the end of my time. <clears throat> One of the missions that stands out to me was Sokolov's mission back in uh, Dishonored 1. Ah, oh, that was just one of my favorite missions. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, looks like we are, I guess, pretty much done here. See if there's anything up in her uh, quarters. Ah. Now we're. Oops! I always do that. I always use the wrong one. Now we're going after the one who started it all. The Duke himself. I forgot the thrill of it. Planning drop-off points. Picking the approach. Thinking of the best ways to kill somebody who lives behind high walls. But with the excitement, there's a black echo that comes back to me for what I did at Dunwall Tower. If anyone deserves killing, though, it's... Duke Luca Abel. I've loved a number of women, and even a couple of men. But I've never loved anyone like my Deirdre. After I left home, those first years on the streets, she's all that kept me from the bottom of the river. I could sleep on a pile of garbage under a leaky awning as long as she was there with me. Sharing a tin of potted meat or a bottle of brandy. We nicked during the day. The Duke and his little brother came through Dunwall. And Deirdre and I got in their way as they stepped out of their fancy coach. The Duke goaded his brother, calling us wharf roaches. And it was the brother who swung the stick that killed her. Splitting her skull. There were wooden gazelles on top of the coach. And I snapped one off and drove it into his eye as deep as it would go. Deirdre was already gone. That is a door now. Lying in the muck and staring up at the gray Dunwall sky. On the run after that, I was hunted by the City Watch and even members of the Grand Guard up from Zirkonos. People looked at me like I was cursed, spitting whenever I got close. Everyone knew I'd bring trouble. Even the gangs. The Duke's brother has been dead for a long time. But now was my chance to get back at Luca Abel for setting him off against pretty, young Deirdre. Nothing was the same for me after they took her away. Another surprise. That didn't go according to plan. Yeah. 
All right. Ready to visit the Duke? Oh, yes, I am. Let's get underway. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job. Pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Alright, so first things first, hard save. See what this mission has to offer. Sunset. Oh, that is beautiful. Closest thing is eighty six, seventy, one seventy seven. So the closest thing to us is right there. These guys deal with me and nobody else. Job security. That looks like you can't actually get in. Much been hiding. Another day like yesterday, and I think I'll give it up for good. Better off in the void than another day like that. So hungry. Might be time to spring for fish cake. I'll get the cigars tomorrow. I like to play cards. Toss the dice once in a while. Who does it?
I guess there's no reason to be in here then. For any ways up. Help me if you can. You're a good one. You know, there's a place near here in some rocks behind a fountain. People have always left offerings there. That's where I started having those odd dreams. I don't go there anymore, but you might want to check it out. See you sometime. Another way. All right, guys, I know this is a short video, but we have a lot of exploring to do in this mission. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy, and of course, I will see you on the next one. Peace out.